Hey there, and welcome back to Hold and Modify. It's Q again with our quick video. It's kind of an update or an addendum to the Lightwave Voyager video I made. We're gonna go over a couple quick things in here, uh, render time and how fast the interface and building a preview is across these three Amigas. So that's been kind of a question. We've got the, the Lip High Storm with its latest update. We've got the BFG 68060. We have the Phase 5 68060. I just wanted to kind of quickly run them through their paces and show you um, how they perform. So that's what this is. It's gonna be a fast one. And we're just gonna kind of just go through this. Uh, nothing really uh, beyond that. Also, I know it was asked how dense the mesh was for the Voyager. So here it is in full polygon mode. And as you can see, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty darn dense. I wish I had this on my other monitor that doesn't moray, but uh, yeah, you can see there how dense that can be. I usually show this in points only mode, as you can see here, or if we come over here to the monitor that doesn't moray as bad. Yeah, that's points mode, which is much more usable. Uh, even with the Pi Storm, as you're gonna see, uh, the graphics chip speed across all three of these is actually very similar. Uh, the big difference, of course, is the render speed across the three. So let's, uh, let's get into it. This computer will rule the world. So right now, I'm doing the loading test for the network. And as we have learned, it seems what CPU you have does have a bearing on how powerful or performant the network card will be. And in this case, yeah, the 3000's 050 Phase 5 takes its time loading, but however, the 4000 with its BFG 50 megahertz 060 also takes its time loading. And I'm gonna bet they're probably both gonna be right around the same because they both use the same network card and they both use 50 megahertz 60060s. The 3000 is a Rev 1, the 4000 is a Rev 5. The 1200 with its latest PyStorm update as of October 18th, 2023, uh, was able to load this rather quickly. I would say the 1200 loaded the Voyager content scene. Oh, I mean, this is not anything that I timed, unfortunately, but based on just casually looking at the clock, around 10 times faster. The time it takes the 3000 and the 4000 here to load the content this would have done it 10 times roughly that says a lot for how much cpu power affects attached network cards apparently all right just jumping back to that load time the 3000 took approximately two minutes longer than the 4000 to load the content now one of the neat little tests i like to do with regard to rendering is how long does it take to go from bounding box to wireframe or point mode here? This won't be professional. You can visualize it yourself when I do it. I'm just gonna kind of do a, a Mississippi count off here. Yeah, around nine seconds. All right. This is exciting, isn't it? It's very, very scientific. Okay, we're gonna tickle it. So nine seconds on the 4,000 and go. Okay, they're almost identical. <laughs> and over here in the 1200, you see this beautiful render from that animation I did earlier. Uh, it looks gorgeous. It's hard to see how gorgeous it is filming off screen, especially on this monitor. That's why I love these new monitor I got for the 3000. I got one more of these on the way for the 4000, by the way. Look at that render time. So that was eight minutes and 25 seconds. This is uh, eight minutes and 25 seconds for the 1200. We're gonna go ahead to that same frame, 247 on our 3000. This is what you asked for, right? We're gonna make sure that our, actually I'm gonna set this to six bit ham. Press the old F9, there's another 4,000. We're gonna go to frame 247. And this should already be set to 8-bit ham. If it'll show up, there we go. Sure enough, this mouse is kind of flaky. Ah, I gotta fix this 4,000 mouse. Get that going. Okay, so off they go. This is the 1200 score. This is using the latest Pi Storm, eight minutes, 25 seconds. The render spec is 640 by 480 uh, enhanced medium. 
So there you go. Let these uh, cook. Obviously, if the pie storm did this in eight minutes and 25 seconds, it's going to be a while, folks. It's going to be a while. See you on the other side. Here we are. We've got the, sorry for the glare there. There's our beautiful Ham 6. <laughs> oh, Ham 6. Voyager on the 3000. So we knew that the uh, 1200 did it in around eight and a half minutes. The 3000 did it in one hour and 15 minutes. One hour and 15 minutes. The 4000, hi. The 4000, and it's Ham 8 here, did it in one hour and five minutes. All right, so the BFG. 9060 Rev 5 with 50 megahertz did it in one hour and five minutes. The 1200 was eight minutes and 25 seconds. And the 3000 was one hour and 15 minutes. And this is a phase five 6860 Rev 1 at 50 megahertz. So there we have it. We have the definitive render times between the three 060s. Uh, I know some of you were asking about that and that's what I wanted to show. But yeah, I mean, in general, the Pi Storm, of course, is going to be a more pleasant experience uh, animating. Now, for example, when I scrub the timeline here and you see the bounding box go, or if I click make preview and I go to bounding box, the speed here is not drastically different from, let's say, the 3000 or the 4000. So here we go. Again, this is comparing AGA to AGA. So as you can see, the speed here is, I would argue, is almost exactly the same. So we'll go make preview, bounding box, and yeah, as you'll see here, it's, yeah, this 4000 makes its preview bounding box. I mean, it's dead. I would say, yeah, it's, they're, 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 the, they're the same. Even the 3000 here, if we go to make, remember the 3000 is in four color mode instead of eight color mode. Actually, the 3000 is a little faster because it's in four color mode. So what this comes down to is what the Amigas are having to do is process rendering bounding box, which is a render guys, it's just bounding box, and also up, copy and update fast RAM and chip memory. So they're all kind of bound to the chip memory and fast RAM issue. So that's why the Pi Storm isn't like ripping past either of these, because unlike let's say um, an Apollo product or um, a Pimega, which has the super hyper fast uh, chip memory and chip speeds and, and you know, Mega graphics chipset, uh, currently, the Pi Storm is pretty much on spec with stock Amiga chip RAM-ish speeds. Like it says, SysInfo still reports, even with this latest update, 1.57. But, I mean, SysInfo and that chip RAM speed thing, I don't even know how relevant that is anymore, honestly. I prefer doing this, which is exercising fast memory, chip memory, CPU on the Amiga to build these previews and scrub the timeline. To me, that's a more appropriate real-world test. And as you can see, all three of these pretty much finished at the exact same time. And they're all going to be able to play this super fluid, smooth bounding box at 30 frames a second. No problem, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, they're just they're just ripping, ripping through that. And of course, the 3000 with its four color mode. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put this video out. It's kind of a, an addendum to the Lightwave Voyager animation video. Getting some Pi Storm action in here with the latest update. Yeah, of course, as you see from those render numbers, it smokes it. But as far as usability in the graphic interface and just using Lightwave day to day, all three of these machines are pretty much the same. They're on spec with each other. So you won't feel slower or faster as you're kind of manipulating and moving things around, okay? It'll only come time when you press that F9 button to render. Yeah, the Pi Storm is gonna walk all over them. Okay, thanks for watching this short one. Uh, I'm done with this video.